The name of the movie is In Time. Humans have been genetically engineered to stop aging when they reach the age of 25. After that they only have one year left to live. To see how much time, you have left to death you just have to look at your wrist. Since time can be given and traded, time has become the universal currency. A man named Will wakes up and notices he has less than 24 hours left. Today is his mother's 50th birthday. Later the two discuss the lack of bills and loans. He tells his mom to find some way to get more time. She has less than three days left and will go for two days to work. She told him to be at the bus stop when she got back, because she would pay off the loan and she wouldn't have much time when she got back. She gave him 30 minutes for lunch, then he went to work. Before arriving at work, he met a young girl who asked him to give her a minute, but he gives her five minutes instead of one. Later some guys invite him to a game of poker, but Will tells them there's no time, and then he heads to a friend named Borel. He tells Will that a man named Henry has a 100-year-old on his arm and has bought drinks for everyone. Borel refers to Henry. Will goes up to warn Henry that he is being watched, but Henry refuses to leave. Suddenly everyone runs out of the bar when Chief Fortis gang enters. He asks for Henry's time. Will and Henry seize the opportunity and flee. Fortis men pursue them in a car, but Will and Henry manage to hide. Soon after, Henry reveals that he is 105 years old and that he is tired of living and that is why he acted so carelessly. Henry begins by explaining the horrific truth about their world, which is that the rich constantly raise prices and taxes until the poor die. The next morning, while Will was still asleep, Henry transfers all of his time to Will, leaving him with five minutes left. Soon after Will wakes up and discovers he has 100 years on his arm, Henry then runs out of time and dies. That evening Rachel leaves work to go home, but the bus fare has increased from one hour to two, and she only has 90 minutes left. She was forced to start running. Unfortunately, with only seconds left, they rush towards each other, but it's too late, and she dies falling into Will's arms. The next morning, a 75-year-old man named Raymond, who is part of a police-like unit called the Timekeeper, stumbles across Henry. They spotted a security camera on the bridge, which they saw contained footage. Meanwhile, Will gets into a car that takes him across county borders to wealthier areas. For every border they pass Will has to pay a higher fee. When he reaches the final frontier, he pays one year to cross. The driver then welcomes him to New Greenwich. Meanwhile, Raymond and his colleagues discover that Will has traveled across several regions to New Greenwich under the suspicion that he has killed Henry. When Will arrives, he checks into a hotel and asks for a suite. The next morning while eating breakfast, there was a woman watching him. In the evenings he goes to the casino, where he gives one year for entry. He is shown to a poker table, where he meets a man named Philip who has nearly 10,000 years of age on his wrist. In the middle of the game, the woman who was watching him and sitting next to her father, Philip, appears, her name is Sylvia. Will bets his time with only 30 seconds left on his wrist, for a chance to win a pot of 1,100 years. Fortunately, he won the bet. Later Sylvia asks Will to dance with her, they have a long talk and they grow closer. Later Philip offers Will to play again, but at that moment Raymond and his companions enter the building and demand to speak to Will. They interrogate him about how he got a thousand years. He tells them that he won most of the time playing poker, and received the rest as a gift from Henry. They did not believe his story and confiscated all his time except for two hours and arrested him. As Raymond is about to leave, Will asks why he is investigating a suicide when killer crimes happen every day. To which Raymond replies that he looks just like his father did 20 years ago. Will then attacks the timekeeper and takes Sylvia hostage. Will and Sylvia both escape to the car. The police and Philip start chasing them. Fortunately, the two manage to escape successfully. Later they hide under a bridge and Will asks to borrow some watches from Sylvia, but she refuses. As morning comes, Will heads into a trap set by Fortis and his men, where thinkers succeed by taking almost all the time from the unconscious Will. Sylvia has less than an hour and Will has a few minutes. Will and Sylvia head to Borel's house, but his wife tells them he died from drinking too much. With only minutes left on their hands, Sylvia panics. Fortunately she sees that she has diamond earrings. The two flee to a nearby dealer who will give them 48 hours in exchange for the diamonds. In the evening, the two go to Will's apartment, where he tells her that his mother's time is up and also talks about his father, who taught him a gambling game called Strong Hand, which he was good at. His father gained a lot of time, but he gave up time, which Will thinks is the cause of his death. The next morning he tells Sylvia that she is allowed to go home. They go out so that she can call her father through a public phone. He gives her a gun in case something happens. Raymond suddenly appears from behind with a gun in hand. She turns and shoots him. Will gives him a few hours before he steals his car. Meanwhile, they stop a car due to stealing some time from a rich passenger, then take their car. Later Raymond issued a warrant for the arrest of his son Philip. Sylvia tells Will she knows how to get more time by stealing the time storage devices, and distribute the time to all the poor within two weeks. The two steal time from Philip's company in various locations and give time to the poor. In the next scene Will and Sylvia are playing poker. 
but suddenly Raymond finds them. The two jump out the window and start running. They got to the bus. Unfortunately, the bus driver recognized them. They bribe him and manage to escape. In return, Fortis sets a 10-year reward for finding the two. Meanwhile, Will and Sylvia are at the hotel. Suddenly, Fortis and his men storm the room. The gang threatens them and Fortis wants their time. But he offers Will to fight, playing the game of strong hand just as he had offered Henry before. The miners are distracted by the jamming. Will picks up a gun and shoots everyone except Fortis who runs out of time and dies. Later Will decides to disable the system and make the rich people pay, but they need a million years to donate. A few days later, Philip arrived at the company's headquarters with a lot of bodyguards. Sylvia suddenly appears with a gun as a distraction. Will disguises himself as a guard and then points his gun at Philip and they climb into his office. They force him to open the vault, where Will picks up a time storage device with a million years in it. Philip warns them that the system will collapse if they distribute it. As they head to their car, Raymond sees them, who only has 45 minutes left on his wrist. Will and Sylvia head to the ghetto, but they notice that the timekeeper has fortified the district's borders. While shooting at them, Will smashes the barrier and crashes into it. He succeeds in crossing the border. Raymond continues to pursue them. When they arrive at the ghetto, he gets out of the car and hands one million years to the girl who asked him earlier to give her five minutes. Raymond gets out of his car and points a gun at the two of them. But when the little girl starts to give time, people start rushing in. When Raymond has to follow them on foot, he stops them at gunpoint. Will asks Raymond for more time to survive until they reach the nursery. Will suddenly sees a police car. Will and Sylvia start running seconds early just to get more time. And then he starts running back to Sylvia. At the last second, they hug each other. This time he manages to save his love. The film ends with the final scene. As we see people cross the border into richer regions, as Will and Sylvia continue their heists to disrupt the system. If you want interesting movie recaps like these, like, share, and subscribe to follow us for more movie recaps.